Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It is time for a Tobias West mission to uh, plan to save uh, humanity. Uh, a small surgical strike team should be able to eliminate all alien presence before New Jericho starts the engineering and move in. And that small surgical strike team is our team number two. Lil Green, um, Ander Sanders, Tyler, Triggerfinger, Natalia Ray, Jim Hexer, uh, Vince, Jim the Hunter, Eulet, and Ayn Roth. Uh, all well, more or less well equipped. Should not overstate our capabilities. Yeah, we got another watcher. That's actually quite uh, good. One of uh, those turrets. Uh, the technician in this team is still missing, so that will not help us. But uh, what we could do, thinking about it, is Vince has the heavy gun. Natalia, would you fancy yourself? using one of uh, the Pythagoras and Adrian sniper rifles. Yours currently has more oomph, but less effective range. Hmm. You know, it's, it's a difficult choice. But I actually enjoy the ability to hit absolutely precisely. So let's give her the laser weapons. Yay! Very nice. Congratulations. Uh, what else? I think we were okay elsewise, the rest of the team had okay equipment. Just double checking, little green. Um, still could use some more points, but maybe we just want to wait until he can train a new class. Not enough for bloodlust. Not enough for a new class here either. Jim needs more hit points. I think the 200 are a really good threshold to de uh, to determine uh, whether or not you survive. Good, we landed. So, what are we dealing with? Secure the area. Well, the area we shall secure. Berserker begins to move in. Andrew Anders Anders. Advancing. I was born ready. Jim the Hammer Hewlett follows him. Both of them are the Besh brothers. Let's show them what we can do. Then how about we're jumping all the way up here? Okay, now we know what's going on. All of the enemies are on the other side, with the exception of that guy. Okay, cool. That guy and his friends. Well. The old saying still holds true, don't be that guy. I think this here is a fantastic tower for Natalia. So moving her over. Like the wind. Jim goes here, just in case we need a war scream. Um, mind control and panic can be done through walls, so we want uh, him on the uh, front line. Uh, 
And for now, I'm going in. Let's just move all the way to here. Natalia, just in case something is coming up. Overwatches. Okay, all of these enemies should be doable. I'm not seeing anything that we've like never fought before. Given that we, by the way, can now gather uh, mutagens out of aliens, I wonder, I wonder, should I build more uh, weapons that allow uh, capturing aliens? Because think about it, that's another resource that we can harvest. I'm repositioning. Good, before we're shooting with Natalia. Another short question here. We could move in and just hit them with a the hammer, but then we would stay here. I don't like that at all. Easy peasy. Shotgun on the other side. It's a bit easy peasy. Oh. It's one of those guys who revive. Haven't yet fully understood how and when that happens, but Ready. the revival is really bad news. Like when I've seen it, I'm on they can hit four times. Not fun at all. Granted, it's only melee. Proceeding. So I guess. The idea is to move further away. I don't know if you can even interrupt it. No clue it. Confirming target. Can you interrupt it? No. Attack successful. Nice. That extra um, accuracy Covering. just pays a lot of dividends. Have you seen how far we are away and yet how accurate she is with her gun that's fantastic On my way. i'll get you okay well Yeah, these guys are a problem. Not sure how you can like notice their revival up front. Like before it happens. If it is that violet fog that runs uh, through them. Look at that, and he still had time to move all the way to there. We literally dashed away with Frenzy, and he not only ran to us, but also got one knockoff. No idea how to deal with, uh, with that. <clears throat> Maybe you are forced to just attack them from really, really far away. I don't know. I mean, look, once they are close, it's really not a problem, right? But until then, pretty much sucks. No valid target. Hmm. 
Moving to coordinates. Let's show them what we can do. Let's do this. Eyes peeled. Little green does have enough for war cry. Could do that down there if needed. I'm here. Overwatching. Miss, unfortunate. Attempting to acquire target. What the? Whatever happens, I mustn't blink. Good work. <laughs> Watch out in this guy. No question asked. Moves here, reloads, and down. I'll get him next time. Yeah, that overwatch didn't really work out so well. Let's hope this is not one of uh, these reanimators as well. Moves up. Hits him. And hits him very well. Taking aim. First hit. Second hit down. Okay. Heals up. And look, we can still frenzy. Everybody's a bit faster. Can't unfortunately mind control. It's not really working out that well. I've got this. Break armor. Gun down. Tell you what, another break armor. Because we're just on a roll. Get that effing carapace away from me.
Could jump down here, get the Triton. Maybe not the worst idea. Natalia heals up. All I need is a clear shot. We're moving up. We we even got one melee weapon here that could I'm here. take captives. So they were doing that. On it. Jumps over. Wall tries. Okay. Proceeding. The moment that this guy moves, he should take a pistol shot. Never mind. Pistol shot is wasted for something else. That's a key. Yeah, poison deals a lot of damage. I was born ready. Moving to coordinates. Good. That solves Can't the poison wait. problem. That solves the other guy's problem. And we're overwatching, which is good. Let's show him what we can do. I think we should be fine because we're paralyzing it quite a bit. Yeah, I can't really hit him. Now we're going to take some damage, but that's okay. Maybe we can still capture him paralyzed. That would be good. A couple of mutagens uh, to be harvested. We can upgrade our soldiers with mutagens. Uh, I would definitely do that. We're running a bit low on med kits. Ready, sort of. Okay, that's less damage than I was here afraid of. Good. Completely stunned. Very nice. hit this guy yeah I don't want to get closer if he comes then that is fine if not we're just going to stay here and wait I'm here Ooh. 
Let's blast them. There is no hiding, my dude. Oh, I missed. Good. He is paralyzed until twenty twenty four or next year, if you're watching it after twenty twenty three. Receiving on the lookout. Good. End of turn. He still continues to aim. Just removed his cover, that is fun. I was born ready. No, we're this weapon must be inaccurate. Here. Okay, just out of curiosity. I can move all the way up to here, right? Right. Five. We're ending. Yeah, I figured he would try to take a shot. Couple of minor hits here and there, and then puts the shield up. Okay, but what we can do now. Let's actually start to paralyze him, but I believe he will die before that happens. I was hoping we could hit the paralysis because he has so little hit points. But that's unfortunately a no-no. Well, I was hoping we could get a second uh, one captured. Cool mission overall. And the second team is still really good. They could, could use some more healing support because we're taking a lot of damage, but there is a noticeable difference between running with six and with eight uh, operatives. I just wanted to pass on my personal thanks and congratulations to your operatives for their work at the base. Fortuna eruditis favit, as they say. Fortune favors the prepared mind. The intelligence we've retrieved is going to prove extremely helpful with all the projects we're working on. And the satellite control tech may one day help turn the tide of this war. This operation may have seemed like a small thing, but the devil's in the details. And so is God. Speaking of details, we'll now have to actually make all of this work with our hardware and software. We have limited resources, so we need our brightest and best focused on the job. It'll take time, but... Cool, so diplomatic relationships... 
Fend Havens against the tech in order to improve your reputation. Okay. Well, is there any haven? Currently there is not, but he is liking us more. I would love to reverse engineer that. The Watcher AT. Tyler Triggerfinger. Onslaught is great. Or we're getting a second class. What does this group need? It has berserkers, plenty of them. So the whole melee attack plus uh, mm, berserking will get sufficient of uh, sufficient of that. Just going into uh, melee and trying to uh, to attack, which means there is definitely I can definitely notice a lack of like medium and long range support. So we're either going with a second class as in sniper training. Okay, that would be one option. Um, to, together with rapid clearance, definitely a absolutely fantastic option. Or or we're going for heavy and that could yield us heavy weapons, uh, explosives, kind of medium range training or infiltrate the training for the uh, for the mimic beacons. So we already have Hexo here as a heavy sniper. Strange class, I still need to make that work, but I think with a rage burst and that big gun might be able to pull it off. Just need to be able to really care, uh, really accurately shoot. So little green definitely also needs a second class, but here we could go uh, heavy, heavy plus assault, Tyler heavy plus assault, and we do have two melee characters. You know, I'm a bit concerned. We have a lot of firepower. A heavy, uh, heavy uh, plus assault could be kind of mid-ranged. Um, these two are front uh, range. Uh, front is actually also mid-range, although there's sniper mixed in. But you want to be relatively close because these guns are never, never really, really, really good. So I would almost say Tyler becomes a sniper as a second uh, class. Like the idea. It's a good combination because you can also now use uh, sniper rifles, right? So that in itself will Proficient with sniper rifles and handguns. I like that. Good. So that in itself will give him quite a uh, quite a wide range to work with. He's a bit closer than uh, Natalia because he will uh, he will not be as accurate, but he definitely uh, mm, will be able to be that kind of second back line. And here we got another level up, not enough for a new class. 
so we're just going to leave it as is for now but as levels stack up we will get a second class same here we're kind of on that brink of getting those second classes oh good very good um how is the team generally doing I would say stamina isn't looking all too great. Not enough for a hive, right? Right. There's another mission down here, the rebuke. But before we do that, let's just move to the base and uh, refresh. A new priest class. Priest class is now available as a soldier. I like that. Uh, just out of curiosity, does that mean... If I take a second class, yeah? With someone who's actually enough points. Ooh, we can make them priests. Hmm. Hmm, well that is that is an interesting dual class. Because if I look at priests, we got a couple of cool features, right? Mind control in itself is just dope. Having that as a as an extra ability, that is fantastic. Induced panic, good. Mind sense, all organic enemies within five, 15 tiles are automatically revealed. That's also not bad. Allies within 10 tiles are immune to panic and psychic uh, damage attacks. That in itself is also good. And mine crush 100, enemy, uh, 100 damage to all enemies uh, within 10 tiles. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. And what I noticed is it is a good support class as well because due to the head pieces, right? The frenzy itself is good having a second one. The headpieces seem to also give you quite a bit of extra willpower because these guys are just rocking an immense amount of willpower. And speaking about which, just level it up to one more willpower. Um, yeah, that might have been a bit of a game changer having having another kind of priest, two priests. Definitely, I, I can see how that could make sense. Um, equally, if you do have, if if we do have the option to get technician as the second class, uh, priest technician would be a dope combination. Personal. Um, in phoenix point everybody is good again yeah we're going we're being picked up and in frozen circuit everybody's almost good again in c vinci here got a second class Let's look at their team for a second. So they got Sniper Heavy. Um, assault. Infiltrator, second Sniper and Technician. Uh, they don't have a Technician. They actually don't, Well, they do have a Technician, Priest. So support classes, two Snipers. Um, heavy assault and infiltrator giving her a second class isn't bad uh, I think we could use some kind of berserker training here having that ability to just use melee attacks for great efficiency is actually quite good also the rage is fantastic berserkers have 
a great support a great amount of supporting skills so having a one at least one frontliner with that would be good um, we can make the infiltrator infiltrator plus heavy that means you do have another kind of heavier character i don't want to play him as a stealth character i actually want to play him like as a heavily armored character that is using the decoy uh, w which is a duplication of him on that field and then you do have like this super heavy juggernaut uh, there we already have assault rifles so we could even play him with assault rifles just heavy armor we don't need to be a um an assault class we can actually pair him with heavy so that's a good combination which means we have front line then the snipers could be sniper assault i think that's fine uh, it's a combination that i think works relatively well the cypress also could be something completely different um, and our midfield being a second technician isn't bad so that one could be one thing could also make him a heavy on on top so that could be a, a good combination just a lot of firepower and then giving him grenade launchers so let's take a look 44 is not enough uh, to level up but NC Vinci definitely has enough to level up because we haven't really leveled something else and I figure we're going berserker as the second class here because it is a strong combination and I like the body pain immunity I like uh, the adrenaline rush which is fantastic I've seen that one mutated head which gives you immunity to the dazing portion so I actually like what I'm seeing and then we had uh, mind control immunity as well on top of it so it's a really good support skill I would say you could even see berserker plus assault to be a thing it's just a really decent extra class because uh, the adrenaline rush and uh, the recovery mechanism isn't bad either uh, like if you if you see here rapid clearance that together with the berserkers adrenaline rush could allow you to shoot for one or attack for one and then get two back so that's pretty damn good and berserkers get melee attacks so yeah i think i'll just combine a lot more classes with berserker backbiter doesn't have enough for class yet but we do have enough here uh, for a class double tap russell mm. I mean, we could be lame and also put Berserker on it uh, because uh, the immunity plus the adrenaline rush is pretty damn good. Is that a combination which would work? Hmm. We would gain a melee attack. Um, he doesn't have any option to get uh, normal rifles so he will also only have sniper rifles if we go down that route here we would have PDWs so uh, if you do have PDWs um, you you don't need um, the berserker as much because really you already have a weapon that shoots for one okay granted it's not your sniper rifle um, but yeah adrenaline rush seems like an OP ability specifically if you can mutate it I tell you what let's just try it because 
what do I have to lose other than effing up the classes? Just double checking a second um, a second priest would make sense. Like we do have a priest here with a technician for healing. Uh, can use the technician together with, uh, say, an assault uh, class to just have a more rounded setup. Um, I don't want the back line to be the priests, which means if Incivinci uh, is Berserker focused, then maybe what we're doing with Silent Toes is make him a priest. Or alternatively, Justin uh, will become a priest. Then we're actually playing like the stealth route. Didn't want to do that at the beginning, but I can see how all of these skills here, um, vanish, sneak attack and so on, could actually be quite useful. And he has sniperist uh, plus uh, PDW. So he has all of the weapon skills. Like he has literally the entire weapon kit and we can put him into whatever armor we want. If we put on top of that um, the the priest, that should make for a pretty damn good character. I think we don't have any more class ability. Well, we do have Craig here. I need to make a decision. And my decision is we're going with Berserker training as indicated. A little bit more willpower. The late Berserk abilities are just very, very good. Okay, so uh, we did have the Manticore 3 ready and uh, waiting here. And we wanted to take the entire team onto that mission because it's going to be a difficult one. Um, we had enough ammunition here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We're going to give you a second turret. Mainly because I like the idea of you just running around with a second turret, uh, JP. You can place that and it should give us a really nice base. Good. I think we're okay. Maybe low on healing overall. But I think we should be fine. So give it just a tiny bit more to get the uh, stamina up. And then we're flying down here to the fourth initiation. You know what? We can already start doing that personal we got the guys in phoenix point shadow realm Drangs, in the butcher owns dilly g grell and euler by the way manufacturing Vehicles 
Helio still needs a little bit more tech. We'll get that. More hours left over. We want to go down here before we do that. Let's move over here to the only place that sells tech. Okay, so more tech trading. Fast trades back and forth. An injury to all. Our operators have located an abandon abandoned mining camp. The miners appear to have killed uh, not by Pandorians but entirely human security forces, most likely during the major strikes that occurred in the course of World War Three. A number of banners detailing the miners demands are still fluttering in the breeze the writing bleached by the sun and we got quite a bit of material there which now brings me to manufacture vehicles and put another helios in there bingo Because they're empty, they don't have anything more to trade. We're going to move down there. Okay, in terms of just containment, ooh, wow. We can harvest quite a bit of material here. Look at that. Ooh, 350, nice. We're just freeing up some space, right? Very good. So that's our kind of iron reserve. Uh, so far, I don't want more personal. We're okay. I would like to use our mutagens. So what's born in the USA is timing. Mutagen lab looks good. Our second team, I think 1,200 might be enough to yeah, do three soldiers, four, maybe five. I don't know. It seems like quite a bit. No idea. Maybe you need a thousand to uh, mutate someone, but that would be cool to have enough of these um, resources. Would want to get more of uh, the elder resources as well which we're going to get soon, but for now 
Time to get rid of uh, the next hive. Currently we do have the fourth initiation in front of us. That's good. Thunder and sunshine. Uh, it's potentially a bit far away. How, how hurt does the second team look? Eh, pretty much okay. Move to there. Catacombs of Despair. We have found some kind of Pandorian col uh, colony soon with uh, Anthron remains. There is an abandoned scarab outside. Oh, okay. Well, that's a mission. Cool. No problem. We'll, we'll do that as proper mission. So I've just found out the next mission is the Catacombs of Despair and not uh, the destruction of a hive. But we're soon going to destroy hives. So don't you worry about that, my dear children. Don't you worry about that. Speaking about hives, this, this year would really bump up all of our diplomacy quite a bit. Can't get above supportive at the moment, which suggests we really should do those missions. Yeah, fourth initiation would be the next one here. How much does how much does this year yield us? It's pretty sizable benefit if we can kill that layer and we've killed a few layers like there is one there is one there is one next one is here they seem to be popping up everywhere kill two over here one over here there's even an unexplored site so we can fly down and do this if this is a scavenge, a scavenge hunt, uh, that'll be difficult as well. Okay, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we're going to join in the next uh, episode via this mission here. We got a rebuke, which is still Prisoner of Ice, is over here. Rebuke is down here. Catacombs of Despair is down there. So these seem to be storyline missions just to drive our storyline further. Um, yeah, I have no idea if, if using them or doing them is beneficial for us or detrimental. Maybe these are just hard story points uh, that will increase the difficulty once I'm doing them. But... Uh, I don't like objectives here. Might as well just knock them off one by one. If you like to knock something off one versus one, then try yourself with a like button rumble and see if you can knock that over so that the thumb is uh, erected to the upper side. Thank you and have a good one. Bye bye.